What's up family, Broken Prophet here. Look, I know we're going into the weekend and I pray this message does not find you guys too late. Um, I was gonna tell you another story about how I came out here this morning and I thought something was chasing me in the bushes, but then it hit me that, I mean, I, I, I totally forgot. And maybe it's the, the spirit that's here that did not want me to let you guys know um, and it wanted this information to be withheld I don't know. Maybe it's the hurricane, my allergies. I don't know, but I miss the signs, y'all. I miss the signs. The the crispness in the morning air, all the 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 the, the spiced lattes and pumpkin spice and everything, guys. Whew. Cuffing season is upon us, and may our ancestors have mercy on us. We're here. What's up guys, Broken Prophet here. Welcome back to the vlog. Had to give y'all a second intro. Okay, here's hoping that the start of your weekend is amazing. All right, had to come in, calm myself down. Cuffing season is upon us, y'all. And, and, and I almost just stumbled into it, blind. Some of y'all probably did too. If you, if you don't know what cuffing season in, is, let me, let me help you. Cuffing season. Cuffing is short for handcuffing. This is the time of the year when the seasons start to change. It starts to get a little cooler. Um, you know, people want to cuddle more. Uh, holidays are coming up. People want somebody on their arm to go to the holiday shindigs and parties and stuff like that. And so they start looking like, mm -mm, no, because thanks God. First, we got the holiday, the, the Halloween uh, parties that are always fun. And then we have the first real family party, which is a get together, which is Thanksgiving. And then we have Christmas if we celebrate it. OK, and then going into New Year, got to get that New Year's sugar out the way. Coming into the Super Bowl of cuffing season. Valentine's Day. Right. So right now, you know, you got people that they are scouring the earth. Right now, right now, you know, it's early in cuffing season. They are getting that starting line up together. But slowly they're going to they're going to cut. They're going to start cutting people. Off, off, the, off the teams. They're going to start cutting people. But what does that mean for us? How do we go into cuffing season and, and nab that one star player that we are all looking for? Well, I'm going to show you because this video is going to be about... <clears throat> it's going to be about relations. So y'all might want to might put the kitties up, okay? Or put your earbuds in. Because let's be honest, you know, we're, we're all adults here. We're all adults here. Successful cupping, <laughs> cupping, woo, cuffing comes from successful relations. We can't deny we spiritual people, but to, but to deny our impulses is, is to deny the very thing that makes us human. And fellas, listen, if you good at relations, then, then, then she will willingly be cuffed. They keep on coming back. So we're going to give some workings out with one, one efficacious herb. Is it or is it? A, a, I don't know. That's good for both men and women. Helps with relations on multiple levels. And not only will it help you get good with relations. It'll help draw people you can have relations with. <laughs> well, I should have made this a webinar, but y'all getting it for free. Now, the, the, the plant that I'm referring to is juniper berries. Now, if you came to my controlling and compelling webinar, or was it the, was it the grown folks webinar? I forget which one. I gave you guys a working on how to break someone's will with juniper berries. Very simply put, you know, you just press the berries into a stick candle and then light it and then, you know, light it. And as the juniper berries fall or pop from the heat from the candle, a little bit of that person's will breaks. But we are not going to be using juniper berries for breaking the wheels. We're going to be using juniper berries for breaking backs. Can I say that? <laughs> so 
This is gonna be a short video because I want y'all to get out there and prosper in this. So I'm gonna start with the fellas first. Fellas, you take juniper berries and some of your favorite beverage. Let's pretend this is some of South Georgia's finest white lightning. Okay, now you want it to be a man's beverage, not you know the stereotypical man's beverage. Don't 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 put it in a um uh, in, in a wine cooler. Okay, no no don't don't put it in one now. You know put it put it put it in something that'll put hair on your chest. So let's pretend this is some of South Georgia's finest white lightning. You will take your juniper berries. And that is J-U-N-I-P-E-R. You will take your juniper berries and add some. You, you can't really overdo it. But see, y'all ain't paid for this. This is from www.trueconjure.com. And so I'm not going to, you know, overload it for a demonstration. Oh, no. So you put the juniper berries in there. Stir it around. Pray the 23rd Psalm over it and let it sit for a week. That's important. You got to let it sit for a week. Oh, it, look, it's doing its goodness, fellas. It is doing its goodness. Okay. You let it sit for a week. After it sat for a week, oh, you ready. You got your tonic. So you strain the berries out. Save them. Save them. Strain the berries out. And every day you just take you a spoonful of your tonic just a spoonful now don't overdo it you might end up down in the emergency room they got to stick they have they gonna have to stick a needle in you to get that you know what I'm saying to make something go away but what this will do whenever it's time you will be ready willing and able okay now I know you said well what do I do with those juniper berries that you asked me to strain out I hope y'all said that because y'all smart well this is what you do if you need somebody new to use your newfound abilities on, do you spread those juniper berries in your front yard? But let's say you already have somebody and you want to just give her a little something extra. Well, then you sprinkle those juniper berries back behind yourself, back behind your house in the backyard. Remember, new partner, front yard. The, the old, I would say old, <laughs> but you know, you know, your, 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 your regular starting player, backyard. Trust me, she's going to be thanking you. Now, ladies, y'all going to do the same thing. Now, there's an old recipe called Hot Mama Douche. Now, I remember growing up, they, they were always having those commercials masking your mom. Do sometimes you just not feel fresh? It was weird. Like they don't have those anymore. I guess yeah, y'all don't do that anymore. Is it douche or douche? Douche or douche? Somebody comment below, and I guess you gotta write it phonetically. Tell me which one it is. But I guess y'all don't do it anymore. But anyway, what y'all will do? You will not. Please don't use white lightning. <laughs> okay, you will use vinegar. <laughs> you will use vinegar and juniper berries. Now. The, uh, the old recipe was for you to use it as a douche. But I know y'all don't do it anymore. Some about pHs and stuff. But what you can do is use vinegar with juniper berries. Pray the 23rd Psalm. Run you a hot bath. And then pour it into the bath. And then, you know, sit in it. Some lady was just squatting in the water. But no, you can get on in there. You'll be, you be all right. You're not going to smell vinegary. And even if you do, he's not going to care. You know, dudes love uh, salt, and, salt and vinegar chips. Don't even worry about it. So you are going to sit in there and think about the relations. Think about the relations. Now, when you get out, you're going to do the same thing. Collect some of those berries. You know, your, your, your old hubby, backyard. You know, your new Jody, front yard. Don't matter. Whoever you let in... Y'all know what I'm talking about when I say in. They, they, listen, they ain't going to be able to get right. They ain't going to be able to get right. I mean, they, you know, it, 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 you had to be careful with that. You had to be careful with that, with that one right there. Because I have seen people uh, showing up in the club in the daytime uh, with a flashlight. So where's she at? I know she in here. Listen, 
that recipe, like they said, the Harlem Nights, that recipe would make you so good. You could throw it up. If you threw it up in there, it would turn into sunshine. So y'all be careful. Use this responsibly. Use it responsibly. All right. So I gave working for the men. Get a, we have a, given a working for the ladies. So now let's, let's, let's switch gears. Well, no, it's the same. It's the same thing. But let's do a little bit of cuffing, actual cuffing with juniper berries. Let's say you have decided, all right, this one is the one, you know, you know, shoot. He, he, he done, he done felt the juniper berry goodies and he's like, woo, girl, or maybe, or, or fellas, maybe she done doggone, you know, done pull-ups on the juniper berry rhino horn. And you're like, boy, I want to keep her around. Well, now what do you do? Easy. You collect either some of their hair, fingernail clippings, whatever, whatever you, whatever you can get. <laughs> you'll put it in a sock. Then you'll put the juniper berries. Now these are new juniper berries, not the ones you've saved. New juniper berries in a sock. Tie the sock up, put it up under your mattress for seven nights. After seven nights, just, you know, however you feel like broaching the subject of y'all being exclusive. You know, I'm old school. I just be like, look, hey, hey, we together. <laughs> I don't know. I have always done that. I just like caveman. It's like, like, look, look, why, why, why we bull jiving? Why we bull jiving? Like we, we, look, we, we, we together. <laughs> but however you do it, after seven days, do it. Clink, clink. Y'all are cuffed up. All right, hopefully this video um, will help a lot of you out. I want to hear because y'all will do my workings and every so often y'all will come back or comment or say in a live how, how, but I like hearing about that. So, hey, if you want to write me, you know what I mean? Like, you know, write me. You can write me to a PO box that's down in the comment section. You want to shoot me a text, let me know. I want to hear it. You can leave out some of the details for this one. Just let me know it worked. All right. And um, <laughs> y'all, we still have that webinar coming up on August, no, August, Jesus, on October the 18th at 7 p.m. Working with Spirits Part 2. We're going to work with other spirits of the Hoodoo Pantheon. We've already covered John the Conqueror, and everyone knows about John the Conqueror. But we're going to talk about Raw Head and Bloody Bones. We're going to talk about the Man at the Crossroads. We are going to talk about um, uh, Annie Christmas, Iron Joe. We're going to talk about all of them. John Henry, all of them. All right. So. And we're going to talk about how to summon them and work with them. $10 via Cash App or Venmo. $15 if you go to trueconjure.com. Your destination for authentic hoodoo items. And maybe juniper berries are not your thing. But, you know, we do have a nice... Lord, I almost, <laughs> look, I almost pulled out the doom powder. Like, uh, uh can't give y'all no... That ain't good for love. Doom powder is not for love. But, hold on, what? Yeah, maybe you want some, some come to me powder. Maybe you, you know, want, want some, want some oils, a candle service, whatever you need, hoodoo wise, we've got you at www.trueconjure.com. And like that person said, hey, you only give us stuff that you can go to, that we have to buy for your store. You can buy juniper berries anywhere. You know, I'd appreciate it if you got them from me, but you don't have to. What is more important to me is that you go out and do the work. Don't just write it down. Don't just listen to the soft rumbling of my basal pro. My voice really only get this deep around cuffing season. And honestly, I can't stand up right now because I'm wearing gray, gray sweats right now. But <laughs> anyway, thank y'all so much. Sign up for that webinar. Run them donations through, through the Cash App. And I will holler at y'all a little bit later. Profit out.